Good afternoon, dear colleagues and guests. Today is January 27, 2020. It's three o'clock Moscow time. Allow me to declare the meeting of the Decision Council open. The meeting is dedicated to the thesis by Bezhenkova Yelena Alexeevna, applicant for the scientific degree of candidate of biological sciences, major 1514 entomology. The topic of the thesis, integrative analysis of taxonomically complex groups of the nymphalid butterflies. By the order of Gnotov Alexander Valentinovich of the 8th of November 2021, number 10773 1, I, Vinarsky Maxim Viktorovich, the Doctor of Biological Sciences, Associate Professor, the Head of the Laboratory of Macroecology and Biogeography of St. Petersburg City University, was appointed the Head of the Decision Council. The same order appointed the hereby mentioned members of the Decision Council, Senior Sergei Yurkevich, Doctor of Biological Sciences, the Head Scientific Advisor, uh, Zoological Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences. In the remote access mode, the following members are present. Kirvichenko Natalia Ivanovna, the Doctor of Biological Sciences, the key scientific official, the Institute of of Forestry of the Iberian University of Russian Academy of Science. We can see and hear you well. Tudverikov Livyevgenyevich, Doctor of Biological Sciences, Zoological Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences. Can you hear us? All right, thank you. And Professor Stanis Yonas Rimantis, the Doctor of Biological Sciences, the Institute of Ecology, the Center of the Studies of the Nature. Can you hear us? Yes, the answer is positive. Thank you. The applicant herself is also present with them, Pashenko Yelena Alexeevna. Also, the scientific advisor of the applicant, Doctor of Biological Sciences Professor of the Department of Technology of St. Petersburg State University, Lufthansa Vladimir Alexandrovich, is also present. In order to improve the quality of the connection, I would like all our colleagues in the remote access mode to turn off your microphones, and please don't forget to turn them on when you're given the floor. Also, I'd like to say that all visual broadcast is being carried out and broadcast uh, online on the website of the State University. Simultaneous interpretation is also being carried out from Russian to English and vice versa. On the website of the live broadcast, you can see the email address to which during the meeting all the listeners might send their questions, questions either to the applicant or their personal remarks pertaining to the contents of the thesis or the presentation of the applicant or the scientific discussion. Thus, anyone participating in the broadcast might participate in the discussion. The questions will be sent to me about technical services and I will voice them. But please note that the questions are to be related to the presentation by the applicant, to the content of the thesis, they are to be informative and accurate, and not be too broad. I would also ask our listeners to indicate name, surname, job position, and as a chairperson, I might not voice the questions which are not linked to the topic of the thesis or uh, 
asked by anonyms. In accordance with the procedure of awarding the scientific degrees of the Candidate of Biological Sciences and the scientific degree of Doctor of Biological Sciences, regulated by the local regulative acts of the uh, university, here are enough to name the procedure. The meeting of the Station Council is considered valid if no less than two thirds of the previously approved membership of the Council is present. Our Station Council consists of five people. All well, five people are present. Three members in the remote access mode with constant audiovisual content. Contact. Thus, there is quorum. There is no need to postpone the meeting then. I would like the officer of the uh, Defence Secretary to issue a turnout list. The duration of the procedure is no more than two hours. I hope we'll comply with the time limits. The chairman will provide the brief information about the applicant and the documents provided by the applicant. There might be some questions, but no more than five minutes. Then brief report by the applicant, and I ask no more than 15 minutes. Questions to the applicant related to the report, no more than two minutes per question. The answers by the applicant, no more than five minutes per all. Voicing external reviews, and all the members of the decision council will provide their appraisal and reviews of the thesis and the presentation, and might ask their questions about 10 minutes per person. The chairperson is the last to provide the review. Then the applicant will be able to uh, answer the questions and comment on the remarks. Next, the open discussion might start. Where uh, each pr person present or those online might uh, voice their opinions pertaining to the thesis of the presentation. All those willing need to sign their names and our uh, job title in the turnout list. And scientific degree, if you have such. Then I will voice the question that we receive via email. The answer is by the applicant. Next, we give the floor to the scientific advisor. No more than two minutes. And prior to the open roll call, we'll have about five minutes to discuss the results by the members of the decision council. Then we move into the open roll call. Everybody voices uh, opinions openly and we uh, count the votes. Then we decide whether to award or not to award the scientific degree. And the final word of the applicant, no more than two minutes. Dear colleagues, are there any objections, questions, remarks concerning the procedure? I suppose there are none. Since there are none, I ask all of you to mute the sound of your mobile phones or to turn them off, and uh, the members of the Decision Council who are online should have their phones at hand in case of any technical failure. Uh, that we can contact you as quick as possible. So we start. I'll start with a brief report. General information concerning the applicant. 
the thesis by Pajankova Yelena Lukasandetna uh, applied to the scientific degree of biological scientist major 115 entomology on the topic integrative analysis of taxonomically complex groups of uh, nymphalida butterflies was accepted for defense by the order of the 19th of October 2021, number 9968-1. Pardon, Lena Alexeyevna wrote her thesis on the basis of the State University as a postgraduate student, a scientific advisor, is a doctor of biological science, professor of the Department of Ophthalmology, Lukhtana Vladimir Alexandrovich. The number of publications by the applicants with the main provisions of the thesis in accordance with the list provided are six publications or uh, were published in the cinematic basis indexed up uh, by word size and scopus all the documents uh, comply with the Simbadivisi University regulations and they can be found, their copies can be found in the attestation file of the applicant. The copies are also provided by the officer of the attestation uh, council uh, work. He is also present at the meeting. Deep participants of the a meeting. Is there the need to voice the entire list of documents? No, there is none. <coughs> Since there are no questions, I'd like to give the word to Yelena Alexeyevna, and I'd like to remind you that you have no more than 15 minutes, and you need to comply with the time regulations. Dear Chairman, distinguished members of the Distinction Council, distinguished guests, my name is uh, Yelena Xelina Pashinkova. I'd like to present the report that outlines the main results of my thesis for the degree of biological sciences on the topic integrative analysis of complex groups of nymphaloid uh, lepidoptera. Taxonomy plays a key role in the study of biological diversity. The term integrative taxonomy was formally introduced to denote an integrated approach to descriptions of elimination species using various types of characters. The integrative approach makes it possible to effectively determine the boundaries of species within complex groups, as well as to detect cryptic species that are indistinguishable in morphology. In practice, there is often a discrepancy between uh, phylogenic reconstructions and, as a consequence, taxonomic conclusions based on the analysis of different types of data. Such contradictions are common in the study of young taxa in which interspecific uh, hybridization is observed. In such cases, the reconstruction of the phylogeny based on individual characters is difficult, but this problem can be solved using the analysis of uh, complete genomes. The model uh, object of our work was diurnal butterflies of the family in Impolita became uh, studied in the work. Despite the relatively good knowledge of the family, the cinematic relationship in many groups haven't been su sufficiently studied due to high geographical and seasonal variability, the presence of cryptic species, or in specific hybridization. Representatives of three genera were studied. The choice of model groups was determined by the fact that the genus Brandes is technically one of the uh, most studied genera of Diuno butterflies with a small number of species. It's an interesting to us to test the results of the elimination based on molecular markers. Militea and Hypnophily, uh, on the other hand, are a groups of butterflies, the number of species and species boundaries within which are unclear and uh, are a subject of bait. The purpose and objectives of the aim and the objective of the study um, can be seen in this slide. Under the framework of the work, three possible approaches were used analysis of DNA barcodes, per, the fragments of a uh, CO1 gene, uh, integrative approach, analysis of the combination of the DNA barcodes, set of nuclear markers, distribution of biotopes, and morphological features, as well as analysis of genome data to study the complex in which inter specific integration was found. Since the study is devoted to integrative taxonomy, a uh, wide range of methods were used in the work on the thesis, including uh, expeditions, two kilometer material, and field observations, morphological analysis, analysis of molecular features from single markers to 
such as uh, gene uh, cytochrome oxidase one to complete genomes. Uh, DNA barcodes uh, are short specific nucleotide sequences. In animals, a fragment of the mitochondrial gene of the first uh, sub subunit of cytochrome oxidase is used as barcodes. DNA barcodes are used to identify species and they're a useful tool for making primary taxonomic hypotheses. We uh, studied the military ally complex and the analysis of DNA barcodes showed that the individuals belonging to the complex um, form a monophyletic lineage and together these three species form a clutter. Um, the military ala has five mitochondrial lineages as laded and uh, the, the subspecies are Militea ala ala, Zeysana and Picolor. In the Militea ala complex, we considered a very simple situation where the level of detected genetic divergions between allopathic clades uh, corresponds to the genetic distances uh, expected from the analysis of genetic barcodes and the differences in barcodes are generally correlated with differences in the wind pattern. Next, we consider the case of unusually high uh, mitochondrial polymorphism. Uh, the complex is known for a high level of intraspecific morphological variability. Differences between individuals of a different generation clinic um, variability in wing size and color are noted. When analyzing DNA barcode, uh, we identified 23 divergent mitochondrial haplogroups. Uh, in the distance, well, the difference in the haplic groups is 9.5% uh, uh, with a standard uh, distance of barcode of 3%, which is uh, rather unusual. The majority of haplic groups uh, were named in accordance with the uh, taxons that are used on the territory of uh, their finding. 12 out of uh, 23 haplogroups are associated with nine traditionally identified species and complexes. Uh, the uh, remaining seven subspecies belong to Militea didyma. DNA barcodes are a convenient marker, the analysis of which allows to put forward the primarily taxonomic hypothesis. However, multiple mitochondrial lineages within the same species may result from ancestral polymorphism, mitochondrial integration, long-term geographic isolation, followed by secondary contact and other factors. In such cases, integrative approach that combines the analysis of mitochondrial nuclear markers as well as morphological characters make it possible to draw the most accurate taxonomic conclusions. The slide shows a simplified diagram summarizing the results of our study on, on the genes branches. In the left part, you can see the table that was created to analyze the DNA barcodes. In the uh, Brancis Daphne species, we can see two uh, diverging mitochondrial lines. Uh, whereas uh, the Hecht and the Mephiti are not distinguishable by DNA barcodes. All the four species are monophyletic and um, mitochondrial lineages uh, in Brentis show no morphological differences. Thus, uh, the genus Brentis uh, reflects species boundaries more accurately than DNA barcode. Uh, unlike the small world that the genus Brent is, uh, the genus uh, Hepronifoli uh, is um, characterized by a large number of conflicting uh, taxonomic hypotheses. Analysis of DNA barcodes showed that uh, Lupina and Mauritanica, which was previously considered subspecies of Lupina, form separate um, clades with the genetic distances up to uh, 5%. Subsequent analysis um, allowed to consider Mauritanica separate species. Uh, eight supported mitochondrial lines were identified. Three corresponded species Mauritania, Gulcha, and Zephanica. To clarify the taxonomical status of the remaining haplogroups, uh, uh, 
was clarified with the nuclear markers and genital morphometry. Using nuclear markers, there is a trench to form the simclase and the uh, analysis of DNA barcodes. Samples of haplogroups L1, L1b form a polytomy. Groups of uh, haplogroups L4, L3 um, get into the clades of uh, L3 and L4. L3 form a separate clades and uh, have a specific morphology of the genitals, which have longer uncus and shortened savonses from a well-distinguished separate cluster. The butterflies of Hapagrubel free form a separate species, Hypnophilic Helena. In addition to genetic and morphological differences, the butterflies differ in their ecological preferences. According to our field observations, Hypnophilic Helena occurs in dry biotopes, while Hypnophilic Lycaon is a mesophilic species. Haplogroups L1 and L2 do not differ in the structures of genitalia and slightly differ in nuclear genes. Thus, we propose to consider them a subspecies of Lycaon Lycaon and Hypnophilic Lycaon Svandica. Uh, the whole genome analysis, complete genome analysis, can be used to test taxonomic hypothesis. Uh, the recently described species, uh, Militaire Acentria, was discovered based on DNA barcode, but the species identity was not being tested using nuclear market. It has mixed features on the structure of the male genitalia and coloration of uh, the wings. On the one hand, it exhibits features characteristic of the non closely related sympatric species Militaire Didyma, and on the other hand, it is morphologically similar to uh, the close allopatric species Militaire Persea. Therefore, it's been suggested that Militaire Eccentria resulted from hybridization between the species. We've screened 27. Uh, genomes of Militaire Eccentria, Militaire Persea, and Militaire Didyma. The principal component analysis and split tree analysis showed that uh, there are specific clusters, except for the Mel 11 specimen, which is between Didyma and Eccentria. We analyzed uh, those uh, substitutions and uh, out of approximately 100,000 uh, substitutions, 42% were heterozygous, while 28 were characteristic of Militaire Didyma and 30 characteristic of Militaire Centria. This suggests uh, that mm, Militaire Centria is, um, lives in Levan. Uh, Lebanon and um, Militaire Brasse lives in Iran, Turkey, Caucasus, and Militaire Didyma in Transpaleoctic Range. Uh, we used the analysis uh, and uh, of LL frequency spectra, and this suggests that Didyma diverged at least uh, 5.3 million years ago. This is consistent with the previous studies, showing that integration occurs from local species with larger population size to species into with a smaller population size. We measured the level of integration in different regions of genomes and showed that the lowest proportion of integration is found in the uh, Z chromosomes. Uh, thus, we believe that uh, Z chromosome played a special role in providing interspecific reproductive isolation. At the same time, regions with the highest nuclei diversity showed high proportion of regression, suggesting that gene flow from military edema was a source of genetic diversity in the local population of a small, of smaller population of military centria. In summary, in this study, we've covered the application of various approaches to the analysis of the taxonomy of butterfly of the invalid family. We've demonstrated the applicability of DNA barcodes for taxonomic diversities. We have identified three subspecies within the Militaire ala. We found 23 mitochondrial genetic lines within um, the Militaire edema complex. Twelve of them uh, uh, correspond to species, uh, 70 subspecies of uh, Militaire edema, and the rest represent cases of mitochondrial polymorphism. The advantage 
images of a decorative analysis were shown using the example of the genus Brandis, in which a discrepancy was found in the phylogenies of phylogenetic trees constructed using mitochondrial nuclear markers. Within the genus uh, Hepanephalae, decorative analysis, analysis of the nucleic genes, biotopes, wing coloration, confirmed the independence of uh, Lacune, Mauritanica, and Kalina species, as well as Hepanephalae, Lacone, Spandicus species. Sequencing and analysis of the complete genomes of the butterfly of Melita, Didyma, Brisea, and Centria confirmed the species independence of the taxon, despite the incomplete reproduction of isolation between Didyma and Centria. Gene flow from non closely related species has been a source of genetic diversity in the Melita Centria population. Six chromosomes are more resistant to integration than autosomes and play a role in the formation and maintenance of uh, polycytic interspecies reproductive barriers. Based on the research, six articles were published in peer reviewed international journals. Thank you very much for your attention. Glenn Alexander, thank you very much. Dear colleagues, dear guests, are there any questions related? To the presentation. I have a question, please. Professor Stonas, Yelena Alexeyevna, how did you choose the nuclear genes for the analysis of Brentis? Can you hear me? Yes, I hope you can hear me as well. Thank you very much for your question. Uh, first of all, we studied literature. There were publications which gave 30 gene areas for Lepidoptera, and we chose the ones that corresponded to our tasks that allowed um, enough information on the level of species and subspecies. Then we chose the primers, which are specific for nymphalids, and then conducted subsequent analysis. Thank you very much. Dear colleagues, are there any more questions? Yes, dear colleagues, I have a question. You I have two questions about the models of your research. You had the butterflies of three uh, genes. Your work is dedicated on taxonomy and uh, systematization. What is the etymology of these three names? It's usually linked to geography or morphology. What can you say about these two uh, names that were the focus of your studies? Thank you very much. But to tell the truth, well, I never thought about uh, etymology. Hepanephaly, most likely. Well, Nephaly, these are clouds. Hepanephaly, something under the clouds. Uh, well, this is a very interesting question, but it is outside the scope of the work of the applicant. So we might allow the applicant not to answer this question. Although it is very interesting. Well, thank you very much. Yelena Alexander, thank you very much. The report was really interesting. My question is related to the uh, determination of the species based on DNA barcoding. You talked about the uh, limits of identifying the species and what are them for this Nymphalida family and how are they linked with other families of butterfly? Is it necessary? to pay attention to such limitations and the thresholds or there is a certain plasticity in the system and in your thesis you talk about different uh, species and the complex of the species of militaire ala and what about the threshold of the lines that you showed on your tree you talk about the uh, high interspecies discrepancies and uh, your limitation is uh, 0 0.8. And then you say that this uh, figure shows that this is the same species. In my opinion, there is a certain discrepancy. If we talk about the 
limitations. I uh, cite polar bear work, where the 3% threshold is given. Uh, in my opinion, this is um, a neat condition, and in practice, very often, we can see the species that um, are slightly uh, very difficult to um, distinguish. Brendis and feeding Brendis, uh, you got that their difference in barcode was about 1%, but we know that these are different species. So there are certain exceptions. As for uh, the butterflies of the military ally complex, there was a terminology um, mistake, and what I meant was not uh, the a threshold between the species but the threshold between the lines when I mentioned B1 and B2 lines I meant that the level of genetic differences between these lines uh, correlates uh, to the differences within the lines and I didn't mean that these are different species I hope I managed to clarify the situation yes thank you very much Natalie Vanna, are you satisfied with the answer? Thank you. I also have a question. Yelena Alexeyevna, is there any data in reference material about the reproductive isolation in the complex of the species? Maybe it could allow to use independent uh, source of information. Laboratory uh, studies or field observations is there uh, reproductive are there any reproductive barriers as for military central military edema they have a very small tendency towards ecological isolation military century if they can be found in one location military century prefers high grounds while military edema chooses lower grounds Nevertheless, there are certain areas where both of the species can be found. Do I understand it right? The classical biological concept of the species doesn't work and was not used, was not studied. So what do you think about this concept? Unfortunately, the classical biological uh, concept of the species cannot be used for this group since genetical uh, specifications show that the reproductive isolation is not complete. So it is not complete, I see. Thus, the biological concept of the species is applicable. Dear Chairperson, I have one more question, please. Yes, of course, you can ask a question. Irena Alexeyevna, in your report, you mentioned the hybrid between Didyma and Exantia. But if we move to the initial definition, uh, the initial uh, species belong to which particular species? There's hybrid. Uh, first was defined as military edema. Then we created DNA barcodes, and according to barcodes, it belongs to Xantria. And the uh, genome sequencing also showed that it was something in between, which was very interesting. Yes, that's absolutely interesting. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Sunis. There are no more questions, I suppose. So we can proceed and we can move to the reviews by the members of the Decision Council. There might be some remarks and questions to the uh, applicant and we'll voice external reviews. The applicant uh, had the choice either to 
answer the remarks and the questions following each of the reviews and remarks or provide the um, general answer after all the remarks are voiced. The applicant prefers to provide remarks after each of the review is voiced. I'd like to start with external reviews, and you can see all the external reviews on the website of our uh, university. All the reviews are positive, and I did not identify any questions or remarks. So I would just voice the authors of the remarks and reviews. <coughs> the first re uh, review belongs to the associate professor, to the dean of uh, the Department of Anatomy of the Federal Institution, the Russian Pedagogical Institution, Herzen. Positive review. Review by Oleg Englisevich Kosterin, the Doctor of Biological Sciences, the Chief Scientific Officer, the Institute of Acetology and Genetics, Novosibirsk. A positive review. And the final external review, Doctor of Biological Sciences, Professor, uh, the Scientific official of uh, Russian Academy of Sciences, Valentina Kuznetsova, has no questions or comments, negative comments. Thus, we can move to the uh, reviews of the members of the Decision Council. All the reviews uh, have been published on the website, so I would ask our members of the committee not to voice the entire review, but to pay attention to the key features. And of course, if there are any questions or remarks, uh, they can be voiced. So that Yelena Alexeyevna uh, could respond to the remarks. Are there any objections to such procedure? No. I suppose that everybody agrees. Then I'd like to give the floor to Natalia Ivanovna Gudichenko. Natalia Ivanovna, the floor is yours. Dear colleagues, I'm not going to voice uh, the entire review because you can find it on the website. I'd like to pay attention only to the main comments and the questions. I was impressed by the number of material collected, the number of butterflies collected in uh, Russia and foreign countries, uh, the usage of different methods in the thesis. And I have a number of uh, questions. What was the personal input in the field research, in molecular uh, research, the analysis of the data interpretation? And uh, what was the input in publication of the articles. There is a small comment considering the reference material. There are many reference sources uh, cited, uh, including a great number of vertebrae and invertebrae. Although I would have expected to um, more a reference material on taxonomy of uh, butterflies and the number of uh, works related to integrative taxonomy of butterflies is increasing year after year. And the next uh, question and comment was about thresholds and the applicant uh, already answered it. And in a year there is a uh, question related to Militia Alla about the morphological specification. The author says that there are different uh, specification of the coloring of the wings in the bottom side. Um, was this trait variable in the groups mentioned? It can be used when distinguishing the, the uh, species. And were the structures of male and female individuals different. The next uh, comment pertains to uh, 
chapter 3. Uh, I find it interesting that two mitochondrial uh, synthetic lines uh, in the branches Daphne were found with the minimal genetic distance of 0 0.7 and the um, clusterization. Some comments are related to the differences and the identifications of the new lines. The author thinks that the possible influence of the line and their identification on the line can be linked to the uh, Bulbachia influence on the genome of the host. Uh, such aspects can be found in many insects and it would be obvious to choose the presence of Bulbachia in the samples. Within the framework of one work, it might be difficult to uh, check uh, Wolbachia presence in uh, Brentis Daphne. And I would like to ask if the applicant is planning to conduct it. The next comment is related to uh, the passage, uh, which provides differences between hypernephaly and the author gives the average distance of a uh, mitochondrial complex. And I would like to say that this P distance is uh, low informative. It would be better to provide minimum and maximal distancing, which could provide more understanding about the uh, barcoding gap, the difference between um, maximum interspecies and minimal interspecies uh, of variability. These are all of my remarks. I'd like to say that the thesis itself created a very favorable impression. I have no substantial comments. Or I'd like to point out that the structure of the thesis is uh, well thought of and uh, the text is very logical, very good translation into English. Everything was done at a very high level. Yelena Alexeyevna possesses knowledge about all the modern methods listed in the thesis, which allows to compare the results of her research with the results of other authors, which is a very substantial advantage of the thesis and the thesis uh, plays the theoretical fundamental uh, role and has um, practical applicability. Um, based on the thesis, six articles were published in international uh, journals. And uh, the author did a great job when preparing and publishing articles, international journals. On the whole, I believe that the thesis by Bajanko Yelena Alexander corresponds to the main requirements uh, according to the order of the 19th of uh, November 2021, number 11181-1 on the order of awarding scientific degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And applicant Bajanko Yelena Alexander deserves being awarded the scientific degree of candidate in sciences, major 1.5.14 entomology. Points 9 and 11 uh, were not violated by the applicant. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Natalia Ivanovna, for uh, such detailed analysis. Thank you very much. So I'd like to say that my uh, the stress in my surname is Pushenkova. Uh, thank you very much for your feedback and for your questions. As for my personal contribution, my input, I carried out all the stages, participated in field expeditions in Russia, Iran, Israel, Tajikistan, Mongolia, and Bulgaria. I determined the collect. Uh, I processed the collected material, carried out laboratory work, including DNA extraction, product purification. I developed primers for nuclear genes. I 
uh, carried out the full phylogenic analysis and the whole f uh, the full genome analysis, including assembly of genomes by reference, search for single nucleotide substitutions, and subsequent analysis. As for your comments, I agree with them um, absolutely, and I'll try to take them into account in my future work. As for uh, Wolbachia in the Brentis, that was um, the first idea that we had, but unfortunately we were pressed for time, so we could not carry out this uh, analysis prior to um, the defense of the thesis. Thank you very much. Thank you, Elena Alexeyevna. Now I'd like to give the floor to Sergei Yurevich Sinov. Sergei Yurevich, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. I'm not going to read through the review. So I'll, I'll outline um, some of the aspects. The novelty of the research is beyond question since the usage of integrative analysis uh, allows us to uh, overcome very difficult uh, taxonomical problems that remained unsolved within the framework of traditional morphological methods of research. A number of model objects uh, from um, uh, nymphalid uh, butterflies and despite um, being well studied, there are uh, certain groups, the taxonomic structure of which is not well studied because of geographic and seasonal variability. A number of cryptic um, species and uh, interspecies hybridization. The development of terminology and methodology, methodology of integrative analysis is one of the key areas of uh, modern research. Nevertheless, the uh, work on terminology and methodology uh, is not transparent within the work of the thesis, uh, but the thesis itself uses the terminology and methodology quite well. The aim of the work as a study in the, the taxonomic structure of the complex groups of uh, nymphalita butterflies and the five main goals were set, which are quite logical, mm, although in my opinion they could uh, be a little bit edited. In my opinion, there are many provisions, too many provisions for defense. There are six. That's more than the goal set. Um, in my opinion, it would have been better to decrease the provisions for defense to three, which um, would uh, coincide with the number of the chapters. In the, the uh, chapter <coughs> materials, uh, there was one wrong uh, statement that uh, some materials that uh, are preserved in the collection of the Zoological Institution of Russian uh, Academy of Sciences. Well, in truth, uh, all the uh, samplings can be found in the laboratory of uh, systematization of the insects. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the methods are rather buried and correspond to the goals. Uh, the first chapter provides a, a good overview of uh, the reference material, mm, DNA barcoding, the usage of integrative approach, and the usage of full uh, genome data in uh, taxonomy is demonstrated. The author is well aware with the subject and with the reference materials. The chapter two, based on the examples of um, complexes of military, DNA barcodes is viewed as the instrument to uh, create taxonomic hypothesis. Within the clay military, all other five genetic lines, uh, in order to taxonomically interpret them, it is necessary to identify the level of genetical divergence. And the uh, differences in barcode correlates with the morphological 
specification. The DNA barcodes of mutated edema, representatives of which are characterized by the level, high level of geographical and seasonal variability in the shapes and colors of the wings of the butterfly, showed um, 23 uh, diverging mitochondrial capillary groups demonstrating demonstrated in the phylogenetic uh, tree. 12 correspond to nine traditionally identified species, and uh, the remaining are offered to be considered seven subspecies of mutated edema. Since not all uh, taxonomic uh, hypotheses received with DNA barcodes were um, substantized by the uh, next um, hypothesis um, with the use of uh, nuclear markers, the conclusion uh, was quite logical. The conclusion that hypotheses uh, require evaluation. Um, some of the drawbacks. Uh, include uh, certain controversial statements about the group Militaire Brisea and the complex of groups and uh, lines. Uh, so there is a certain uh, problem with the terminology. Uh, the level of uh, in supra species differences and interspecies variability, inside species variability. Mm, in here, the terms are not quite correct. And the only question that remains not fully clear in the uh, military Gotebea, we can find uh, two clades which are uh, considered to be sub uh, types. Could be, could be, and could be bondily, but their taxonomic status is not fixated, and it is not uh, clear which taxonomical conception the author prefers. The chapter three is dedicated to integrative taxonomical analysis uh, based on Brentis and the complex uh, of Hypnophily Lacandopina. The analysis of the nuclear uh, genes um, uh, shows that the necessity to uh, test uh, taxonomical hypothesis based on DNA barcodes within the integrative analysis and the non-predictivity of using mitochondrial uh, data into one matrix. The same conclusions were uh, made for hypnophilia lupina. Chapter four provides the yields the results of a sequence of 27 genomes to identify the taxonomical structure and evolutional history of uh, the complex. And the analysis demonstrate that the samples form three clusters uh, following three taxons and one uh, sample is of uh, hybrid nature. On the whole, the conclusion of the thesis is rather short, but uh, nevertheless rather informative, and shows that the author can concisely sum up the main results of the research. Of course, as any type of work, uh, there are a certain uh, misprints, problems with the terminology. I'm not going to list them, they can be found in the review. All the above mentioned comments and remarks uh, do not underestimate the value of the work uh, since the thesis is very deep scientific work dedicated to the identification of taxonomical structure of a rather complex um, groups of species uh, used with the most modern methods of molecular genetical and morphological analysis. And the novelty uh, lies in uh, identification uh, for diurnal uh, butterflies of mitochondrial polymorphism within one species. 
uh, identification of taxonomical structure of the species uh, from militant hyphenophylline groups and uh, identification of genome integration uh, in the genus Milite. Thus, I might conclude that the thesis by Bishenkova Ilyana Alexeyevna on the topic integrative analysis of taxonomically complex group of the nymphalida butterflies complies to the main regulation by the Ord 1911-2021, number 11181-1, and the applicant, Vishnikova Elena Alexeyevna, deserves being awarded the scientific degree of um, candidate biological scientist, major 1.5.14 uh, entomology. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for the detailed analysis of the thesis. Uh, Yelena Alexeyevna, the floor is yours. Sergei Yurevich, thank you very much uh, for your questions and remarks. Uh, as for six provisions for defense, I uh, sought to emphasize the originality of the thesis. Thus, I was so specific and uh, there were so many provisions made. As for the lack of clear terminology, well, I completely agree with your comments and I'll try to avoid such misunderstandings in the future. By using the expressions of complex species and groups of species, uh, well, I made pretty much the same thing and it was just an unsuccessful attempt to uh, avoid repetitions. As regards the clays, and we believe that it's premature to give them uh, the status of species since the described differences in the structural genitalia are unreliable. And the butterflies differ in their wing pattern, they have four fixed nucleotide substitutions and CO1 gene. We believe the Militae are subspecies, but it needs to be tested with additional markers. Um, I thank uh, Sergei Yurevich for our technical comments and I'll try to, to take them into account in my future work. Thank you very much. Sergei Yurevich, I'm uh, satisfied with the answer and I'd like to uh, stress that I like the approach of the applicant towards uh, the idea that uh, taxonomical uh, conclusions um, based on molecular analysis uh, should not be uh, um, identified too fast. And it takes time to identify whether this is uh, a different species or a subspecies. I'd like to give the floor uh, to our next speaker, and I'd like to uh, formally voice my opinion and not provide all the information. The work was uh, well done, and the material is used was rather complex, different methods were used, and the tasks, uh, goals set by the applicant uh, were successfully achieved. My questions belong to methodology. Uh, the work is dedicated to uh, integrative systemology, and different methods used in the work uh, are discussed in uh, the field how they can be used to identify the species, barcoding, taxonomical uh, analysis, and all uh, molecular changes are based on a simple approach. And not the, the second approach was uh, not taken into account. Uh, neither lateral models were mentioned. My question is, can the, the applicant uh, comment on the choice of methodology and how can the uh, data yield different results depending on the models used? And the second question relates to uh, section on genomics. Uh, the graph is quite clear 
and um, we can see the hybrid uh, sample. Uh, how can we statistically believe this hybrid sampling? Maybe that was the mistake in chromosome sequencing or in modeling. The data was, and if the data was published, uh, what about the peer reviewers? Did they uh, identify that this is the hybrid genome? Well, of course, these questions do not serve as negative aspects of a thesis. I believe that the thesis is one of the best of its kind. I'm not sure if I need to voice this formal part. Yes, you can voice it, please, the formal part. The thesis by Yelena Alexeyevna Bashankova on the topic integrative analysis of taxonomic complex groups of the nymphalida butterflies corresponds to the main provisions uh, of the regulation of the 1911-2021 order number 11181-1 or an award in the scientific degrees in Superdiva State University. And applicant Yelena Alexeyevna Bashankova awards being award, deserves being awarded the scientific degree of candidate of biological sciences, major 1514, uh, entomology. Points 9 and 11 of the above mentioned order were not violated by the applicant. Thank you for your attention. Filip Yevgenievich, thank you very much for your question. Yelena Alexeyevna, the floor is yours. Thank you very much for such informative feedback and for very interesting questions. As for the comparison of Bayesian method and maximum likelihood method, um, well, these are very important aspects of phylogenic reconstructions. Um, and we carried out uh, the reconstructions based on three methods, Bayesian method, the maximum likelihood method, and the maximum parsimony method. And since they yielded the same topology in different only slightly, uh, the comparison was omitted uh, in the thesis and later publications. As a problem of the choice of evolutionary models, um, it's rather difficult, but it's more significant for the reconstruction of uh, phylogeny of more distant taxa. And the thesis dealt with the problems of taxonomy at the level of species and subspecies. That's why we omitted this description and discussion. However, uh, during the process of phylogenic analysis, it uh, was carried out. I agree that the analysis of the problems of phylogenic methods uh, should have been included in the thesis. It would have been appropriate. As for the hybrid specimen, uh, well, I agree with your mm, agreed with your uh, ideas, and um, I shared uh, your doubts. And um, I approached the analysis with uh, great precaution. The graph that you can see in the screen is based on the analysis of 700,000 of uh, uh, nucleotide substitutions. So this is a quite a uh, significant amount of data. And those uh, substitutions resulted uh, after filtering that we obtained after uh, constructing genome based on reference. And currently, I'm sure of this data, and I do believe that this is a hybrid specimen. I would also like to say that from further analysis uh, related to integration, we um, did not use this specimen uh, so as not to have possible noise and to study the historic input of integration in uh, for remain the genome of Militaria Centria. Thank you very much. Filip Yevgenievich, what, what can you say about the response? I'm fully satisfied with the response. Thank you very much. I would like to con uh, continue our discussion. 
And I uh, would like to give the floor to Professor Tunis. Thank you very much. Much was mentioned, and I don't want to participate in competing with my colleagues. I'd like to say that uh, the thesis, I like the thesis very much, and it is a high quality thesis starting from the name to the content. Well, novelty is beyond doubt. I'm not going to uh, name the details. I do agree that the materials of the thesis might be used and should be used in the courses of entomology and other science, other related sciences. I want to be very brief. And I'd like to say that the thesis by Pajankova exceeds the requirements to the uh, applicants for the candidate of uh, uh, biological sciences. As for the text, both the text in Russian and in English is well written, which has already been mentioned. And Sullivan also mentioned that. The text is very logical. There are no typos, so it is exemplary. I don't want to contradict Evgeny Yurevich, but in my opinion, this is an exemplary thesis. There might be some mistakes in any work, but this thesis looks uh, really good. Since this thesis plays a very important role in uh, the science of Russia and international science. Uh, the thesis by Pashankova fully compliance with the uh, requirements of St. Petersburg University. And uh, Pashankova, Yelena Alexander deserves being awarded the scientific degree of the Candidate of Biological Sciences, major 1.5.14 entomology. Yelena Alexeyevna, I would like to ask you, how did it happen? Why did you choose this topic? Well, for us, it is a great success that you chose this topic and you will work uh, on this topic. But how did it all start? No, uh, I'd like to ask you to respond to that very briefly. Thank you very much for such high uh, appraisal of my work, for very positive remarks. Uh, to be brief, my thesis is uh, the continuation of the work which I started when I was in baccalaureate, doing my baccalaureate uh, thesis. I was studying butterflies in uh, Bashkiria and Orenburg Oblast. And when I was reviewing, when I was doing the revision of the species, we identified some of the problems that we later on worked in the thesis. I got interested in the butterflies because this is a very beautiful and interesting group of organisms. I'm very happy to be dealing with them. And we are also very happy that you're dealing with this group. Dear Professor Stani, do you have any more questions? No, thank you. Then I'd like to to proceed with our uh, discussion. I'm the last uh, to speak. Much has already been mentioned and I'm not going to voice my entire review. I'll just mention the key aspects. I would like to agree with all my colleagues and I share the appraisals that are colleagues have already mentioned. I'm not a specialist in this particular group.
Поэтому, конечно, я могу оценить и высокий личный. But the methods used are the same, and I understand that the applicant possesses knowledge about different methods used and it is obvious that much work has been uh, carried out by the applicant and I hope that it will result in awarding the scientific degree. We can see the integrity of taxonomic work in its full sense because very often this uh, is a scientific fashion with all disadvantages. Very often uh, the work uh, dealing with uh, molecular methods is also considered to be integrative. In here, we see the genuine integrative approach because the author analyzed not only mor molecular genetic but morphological uh, aspects and ecological, biogeographical um, observations. And altogether, it creates a full picture, which is interesting even for somebody non specializing in butterflies. Uh, the tasks of the research uh, are achieved, and six peer reviewed uh, journals saw the publication of the articles by the applicant. And the journals are of high quality, which means that the work underwent the um, critical analysis of the specialists. And all the specialists in the area of butterflies did not uh, have any negative comments pertaining to the thesis. Thus, I'm, as a non-specialist on butterfly, would agree at the high level of the thesis. I liked the literally reference. Uh, maybe I would have written it differently, but I liked the way it was uh, created. Uh, since it is a candidate, the a thesis for awarding the um, candidate degree, uh, the approach is a little bit too uh, objective. Uh, the author is uh, was seems to be a little bit afraid of uh, saying its own idea concerning what the species is. But the very cautious usage of DNA barcoding is uh, very uh, positive aspect. And uh, if it is not used appropriately, it leads to taxonomic inflation. So the author showed the positive and negative sides of barcoding and used more efficient methods. Uh, including the full sequencing of the genome. The volume of the work done is substantial. The main scientific results were pointed by my colleagues. And this is important not only for the systematization of uh, lymphalid butterflies, but it is it poses a certain interest from a uh, point of view of evolutional scientists and the work deserves uh, high praise but i would like to uh, point out certain drawbacks well prior to me uh, there were some terminology discrepancies about the cluster and the complex uh, probably that was a re result of a reverse translation from English into Russian. Uh, I believe that we need to be formally accurate with terminology. Uh, also, when uh, we talk about the uh, nomenclature name of the taxon, the full name is to be given with the uh, information about the author and the year of description. My main 
uh, question is related to genome integration between these species, uh, which uh, diverged about uh, five million years ago. Uh, in terms of methodology, well, it is absolutely clear, but while well, reading, I had a question. What triggered, uh, what led to this non-trivial integration? And on page 50, I could see only brief information that such integration could Mm, uh, take place because of specific uh, geographical uh, conditions that could lead to uh, interspecies barriers. So the question is, what are the specific geographical conditions? Well, I can see why the applicant was very cautious here to uh, provide any speculations and hypotheses, but the applicant should not be too cautious about that. And I'd like to hear from the applicant what mechanisms of uh, isolations were broken, because there might be many mechanisms of such, not only ecological segregation, but postcopulative isolation, behavioral and physiological isolation. So this uh, number of genes between the uh, divergence about five million years ago, if we compare it to people and uh, chimpanzee when divergence is more than 5.5 million years, so there might be uh, significant changes in the genes. If we talk about taxonomical analysis, uh, this was uh, the uh, term used by Evgeny Smirnov. Uh, entomologist who used it to identify biometric analysis, which he called taxonomic analysis. But as you can see, most of my remarks are more editor of editorial nature or stylistic nature. But my general perception is very positive. And I need to pronounce this sacred phrase uh, to summarize, uh, saying by the thesis by Pajankov and Elisian on the topic um, that has been mentioned um, before, uh, compliance to the regulations of St. Peter's State University on uh, awarding scientific degrees in St. State University. Thus, the applicant of Pashankova Yelena Alexandrovna has been awarded scientific degree of candidate biological sciences, major 15.14 entomology. Points 9 to 11 of the above mentioned regulations were not violated by the applicant. Yelena Alexandrovna, the floor is yours. Maxim Viktorovich, thank you very much for your uh, detailed uh, review. I do agree uh, with all the technical uh, remarks. Um, some of the problems with the terms were uh, due to uh, backwards translation, and I'll try to be more um, precise when writing text. As for the conditions, um, of the changes from military edema to military eccentria that was um, in details uh, reviewed in uh, some of the articles because it is an evolutionary uh, aspect, not taxonomic one. Nevertheless, it's rather interesting. Um, very quickly, the genes uh, occur or during the colonization of the uh, species of a new uh, territory from uh, the colonizer to the colonized. And uh, the genes can be seen in the border of the areals of the habitats. It is linked to the fact that uh, colonized and uh, colonizing species have a significant difference in the population size. The centria, the, it's the uh, species which came, uh, is very low in numbers and they use all the possible reproductive uh, options that they have. And the militated edema is 
uh, species with large habitat and large population. That's why they uh, could choose. Uh, this we link this. Uh, to the fact that there was a flow of genes only in one direction from Dedema to Centria. Since Centria does not choose that much uh, partners because of its low numbers. Thank you very much. Well, it's a pity that you did not include it in the thesis. I remember Julian Huxley saying that the main uh, aim of the taxonomist is detection, uh, detection of evolution at work. So we need to show how the evolution works so it does not contradict your aims and goals and taxonomy as such. Well, thank you very much. I'm satisfied with your answers. If we move to the next point, and I have to answer. The dear members of the Decision Council, is everybody satisfied with the responses? Yes, the answer is positive. And I'm ready to give the floor to uh, those uh, present in uh, the room, but are not members of the Decision uh, Council. If you're willing to have the floor, you can have the floor. But there are no speakers willing. I'd like to uh, voice the questions, if any, uh, received via email, did not receive any, which means that all everybody present has no questions uh, about the procedure uh, nor about the content of the thesis. Since the scientific advisor is present here, uh, we'd like to give the floor uh, to the scientific advisor. Dear colleagues, I uh, met Yelena Alexander eight years ago when she um, came to the Department of Etymology to our university. Well, eight years is a long time. Much has happened through this um, period, and we worked much together on the department then we had field expeditions, there were international conferences, and throughout the time I was able to see that uh, Yelena is very persistent, ambitious, and uh, her mind and her hands work well. The topic is rather complicated, and much was uh, mentioned about it. I'd like to say that Yelena Alexeyevna worked individually. Uh, she collected all the material on her own that she used for the <coughs> research. And uh, many travel uh, trips had to be undertaken. In the face of Yelena Pozhenkova, we can see in Yelena Pozhenkova we have three specialists, a person who can systematize uh, insects, who knows the groups and species, and uh, is well aware of the species. A specialist in molecular biology who can work with molecular markers to get the markers to identify DNA, to sequence, to conduct uh, analysis, which is rather complex. And Yelena um, Alexeyevna also used uh, bioinformative analysis. And whilst at the university, Yelena got the second education. She uh, graduated from bioinformatics courses, and she's a specialist in the field, which is uh, rather difficult and complicated. And uh, the work uh, linked to military group was the work on bioinformatics. Thus, I'd like to say that Yelena Alexeyevna Pushenkova is uh, a specialist that uh, is able to solve difficult scientific tasks. I'd like to say that the applicant is a great specialist in such fields of knowledge and a great person as well, which I personally can justify. Thank you, Vladimir Alexandrovich. Dear colleagues, 
uh, I would like to address the members of the decision council. Does anybody want to uh, have the floor? No. Uh, I have already voiced everything that I was planning to. Then I suppose that this is the end of our discussion and this is the end to the question. So we are approaching the final point of the meeting. But prior to that, I'd like to ask a very important question both to the members of the decision council and to the applicant. Are there any procedural remarks and objections, including the remote access mode? If there are any, you are to speak now. None. I believe that we didn't have um, any procedural discrepancies. No, the applicant doesn't have any objections, of course. If there were, the applicant would have asked. Dear colleagues, dear guests, we move to the next point, to uh, the main part of the meeting today. Uh, the formal question is the following, and I'm addressing the members of the decision council. Uh, do we need a five minute break to discuss the results with the muted sound of the broadcast? Maybe you have some questions or some issues that are to be discussed without uh, broadcast. No, there are no questions. Then we continue working in the open mode. Since we are moving to the most important part, please uh, make sure that you can see and hear as well that your microphone works and that you have technical access to the voting. Since we are in the final minutes of the meeting of the decision council, can you all see and hear me well? Yes. Yes, I can see and hear everybody well. Prior to voting, I would once again uh, specify the procedure. The voting is open and you uh, need to say yes or no. And when you vote for or against a word in scientific degree or non-word in scientific degree, uh, you agree that the applicant did not violate the point 11. Point 11, in the thesis, the applicant a scientific degree has to refer to the author or and the source of the materials and the results. When using the results of scientific works uh, carried out by the applicant he, themselves or in co-authorship, the applicant is to uh, identify this aspect. Thus, when you vote for, you mean that this point was not violated. There is no plagiarism. Other thing corresponds to the uh, scientific rules. <coughs> the time is four o'clock, 27 minutes Moscow time. And prior to voting, I would like to say that your that the decision is taken if more than half of the members of the decision council voted for, but not more than three members of the decision council. So, dear members of the decision council, Kirichenko and Natalia Ivan, your uh, idea considering the thesis. I'm have no doubts that Pashankova Yelena Alexeyevna is a good specialist and professional who is well aware of the topic and the modern ways of research. And I vote for awarding the scientific degree uh, major 1.5.14 entomology. 
Sergei Yurievich, your idea? I vote four. Filip Yevgenievich, the floor is yours. I agree with awarding the uh, scientific degree of the candidate of biological sciences, Professor Stronis. Of course, with no doubt, I agree that the applicant deserves being awarded the scientific degree. And I, Vinarsky Maxim Victorich, the um, chairman of the council, vote for. Thus, uh, esteemed colleagues and esteemed guests, I'd like to declare that out of five members of the station council, five people voted for, against none, abstained none. Thus, the council decides to award Poshankova Yelena Alexeyevna the scientific degree of the candidate of biological sciences major 1.5.14 entomology. And I give the floor to the applicant. Thank you very much. I would like to thank the chairperson and all the members of the council for very interesting and substantial reviews and remarks and for the positive um, appraisal of my work and very interesting questions and comments that made me think and uh, have a look at my work from a different angle. Thank you very much for your time. I would definitely like to thank uh, my scientific advisor, uh, Vladimir Alexandrovich, for his uh, help and assistance for being with me at all the stages of the thesis and for such interesting topic of research that we've been uh, working on within these years. I'd like to thank the um, <coughs> members of the Department of Entomology where my work was conducted and I would like to thank the members of the Career Systematics of Zoological Institute of Russian Academy of Sciences where molecular um, tests were being carried out. Uh, I thank them for their support for the discussions that we had and for uh, being able to help at all the stages of work. I would also like to thank my uh, relatives and my friends, without whom it would have been impossible to complete the thesis for their support, emotional support, and for being there for me. Thank you very much. And on my behalf, and on behalf of the members of the Station Council, I'd like to congratulate you uh, with this final stage of your eight year uh, work and to wish you all the best and to wish you uh, further uh, work in this area. And I fully agree with your scientific advisor that you are a professional who is able to do much for the development of uh, systematization of invertebrate. Thank you for your work. I'd like to thank all the members of the Station Council for your participation and for your professional work and for your detailed comments for taking part in the discussion. I declare the session closed. Please mute uh, the broadcast. Thank you.